Welcome back to another bag review by Dave Sam. Today we are taking a look at our first bag from Evergoods and it is a doozy. It is a special Cariology collaboration edition. You know I love those Cariology collaborations. The Civic Panel Loader 24 Phoenix. Let's get into it. My name is Dave Sam and I regularly share my obsession with bags with you. If you're returning to the channel, thank you for your support. If this is your first time here, thank you for joining us. No matter who you are, maybe go down, consider dropping that like, subscribe, all those things helps the channel out a ton. If you're not familiar with Evergoods, now is definitely the time to start familiarizing yourself. The description of them on their website makes it sound like they wanted to build a company first and then build products. And I mean that in the best way possible. They started with a vision for what they wanted Evergoods to be and they laid about 40 products out on a roadmap for their future with a few common goals in mind. The first three, four products have stayed absolutely true to form and you can see those design similarities and and unique features really shine through in each and every one of the products. This CPL in particular is a special Cariology Taylor Weldon collaboration. If you're not familiar with the collaborations they've been doing over the last, I don't know, year and a half or two years or so, uh, I'll link to the one for the release notes for this one, as well as one of my other videos kind of going into some of those collaborations. Let's get into it. And we're a little bit back on our bullshit here with all black everything. And ooh-wee, did I miss that? This guy looks fan-freaking-tastic. Come on, tell me you don't agree. Look at it. Look at it. I'm sorry. I know that I'm basic, but you know, I just love that all black. All right, now that we've gotten that out of the way, this uses a VX42 x-pack material on the outside and this is different from the regular cpl 24 the regular cpl or the one that's on the website that's regularly sold i believe it's called the v2 uses a 500d high tenacity nylon as the finish or the exterior finish of the bag and on the front just like the regular cpl there is the patch landing this is probably about a one and a half by one and a half square here it's not huge it's not going to fit some of your bigger patches potentially but it did come with this one and the normal one does come with this like reflective patch that you can put on the bag um mostly for like if you're riding your bike outside or something it'll reflect off people will be able to see you a little more easily the zippers used all the way around the bag are the ever favorite aquaguard ykk zips it looks like they're using a combination of number 10 and number eight zips depending on where you are it looks like a number 10 for the main and number eight for the other three compartments each zipper pull also has a nice little hyphalon zipper pull attached to it so not just the metal metal piece of the zipper pull but also this really nice feeling really easy to use zipper pull there are two main handles on the bag one that spans pretty much the top of the bag pretty similar to a lot of the other handles you've used not padded but it is like reinforced with something it looks like or feels like there's kind of a hard plastic in here and then there is a second full handle on just the one side. So this is the side that sits on your left when the bag is on your back here, just so you can carry it in briefcase mode. And what you'll notice here is that it's not concaving the bag at all. And that's because, and we'll see this when we get on the inside, there is a little metal frame that's on the inside here, which just kind of keeps this straight when you're using it. And I really loved that as a feature, just made it a lot more comfortable to carry the bag on this access adjacent to all these handles there are additional loops that are made out of the same material as the handle but are just not reinforced so you can think of carrying something like a carabiner uh, on any one of these loops now even though these grab handles are not padded i found them pretty comfortable to use in practice easily carrying the bag for like eight or 10 minutes, especially when I had a heavier backpack that I was utilizing. So overall, even though it's not padded, not bad, doesn't feel like it digs into your fingers when you're utilizing either one of the handles. 
What's also nice about utilizing either handle is you do feel like you kind of get two different experiences out of the bag. We'll see what I mean by that when we jump into the actual pockets, but two of the pockets are oriented completely vertically, or horizontally, I should say, and then two of the pockets are oriented completely adjacent. So however you want to call it, horizontally, vertically, whichever side matters, you got it. Now onto one of the most important things on a bag, We've got the harness system and it sports, or at least the shoulder straps and this back paneling sport this nice EV50 foam that is really nice to the touch, soft, feels like it's broken in. I've had this for six or eight weeks at this point, and it's felt like this the entire time. What's interesting about this harness system, and this is unique to the CPL24, I haven't seen this on any other bag, is that the bag here connects directly at the top with this fabric or additional fabric pulling on the rest of the bag. It also pulls on the actual frame underneath here, really adding kind of that contouring to your back, and it makes it a lot more comfortable in my opinion. Now this harness system is a bit of a double-edged sword. I mentioned how soft and nice the sternum straps are. They also have this unique shape to them so they don't actually sit kind of like underneath your armpit there. So even if you're not using the sternum strap, they sit pretty comfortably on the body. You add the sternum strap and now you're really having them sit along your chest, which is super comfortable. What's not super comfortable though is this back paneling and this padding. It's not uncomfortable. It does have this little bit of padding, but there is absolutely no air channeling whatsoever. It is just flat against your back. It does contour nicely to fit directly on the back, but again, black pack pack, straight on the back, no air channel whatsoever. You better believe you're gonna be moist. You're gonna be very moist when you're at the end of the day wearing this guy. I know that I was, and we're talking late September when I got this. It was supposed to come earlier in the summer, and now having worn it, having seen it, I honestly can't imagine having worn it throughout the summer it might have been extremely, extremely hot. Definitely would have had to save it. Now, for the winter, fall, spring, fantastic bag. I'm in love. I don't need to worry too much about my back sweating in any of those seasons, especially in Chicago. All right, now what everybody's actually here for, the inside of the bag. Like I mentioned earlier, there are four pockets on the bag. We've got one quick access, laptop, main compartment, and then an admin pocket along the front. We're gonna start with the quick access along the top. That runs along the entire top of the bag here and probably goes about I don't know, three or four inches deep. You can open it up. You can already start to see that orange coloring. I've just got my wallet in here for now. You can have your wallet, phone, keys, anything you'd stick really in your pockets. Also has a nice little key leash here. Not very big. You would have to probably detach your keys to use it. Hangs right in the middle at the top. There are no compartments or slip pockets on the inside here. It is really just kind of a deep open pocket. Moving forward and to the side, and I'm gonna switch my orientation here in a second. We've got the laptop compartment, runs across the entire back portion of the bag, sits right up against your back when you're wearing it. Single zip, has a zipper garage at the top. And then on the inside, you've got two compartments here. First one, and this is the one that's actually closer to the main compartment, you've got your actual laptop compartment, and this is a suspended laptop compartment, this front one here. Sits about a finger width or two from the bottom of the bag, and then also has this Velcro attachment point that you can attach to the flap, so you can really keep your laptop secure just by attaching it to the flap, or if you don't wanna use it, there is an additional piece of Velcro on the inside there, so you can just cinch it onto the back and not have to worry about it, which is mostly where I keep it. On the other side of that, and this is the side closer to your back, you just have kind of this extra space or extra open compartment. I keep 
my iPad. You could obviously keep any tablet or flat item in here. Honestly, it's big enough to where you could keep a second laptop if you really wanted or needed to. Maybe you're traveling with like a work and a personal laptop. You could easily fit both in this compartment. One of the nice things, and you'll see this kind of across each and every compartment, is that every single compartment has its own dimension which is fantastic. And since we're already looking at the brief style compartments, let's jump all the way to the front to the admin compartment, still protected by an AquaGuard zip, even though it has this zipper flap up here. And I'll just show you this way. It is oriented so that you can use it from the top down, right? Everything pulls out this way, which is really cool, really nice. Again, made you feel like you were using a separate bag or like a real briefcase when you had it in this orientation. On the inside here, you've got a couple of things going on. So two slip pockets at the top here. I'm just carrying some tools. So I've got Leatherman Signal, some of the bits that you can get in association with it, the bit bar inline which has been really nice, as well as this flashlight from Ion. And those are the two slip pockets at the top. No mesh, they don't stretch or anything like that, but no problem. Just below that, closer to the bottom of the bag, you have a zippered mesh compartment. So an additional mesh or zippered compartment on the inside. I'm just keeping a little Morphe battery pack in here. Plenty of additional space in here. I had a handful of things in here, but easily I could have fit a Kindle, a Nintendo Switch, you know, any of those kind of flatter items could easily fit in any one of these other compartments. Moving into the main compartment, and this is the only compartment that's protected by a number 10 YKK zip that also has two zips on it or is protected by a double zipper. At the bottom, just before we get inside, I'll just mention there are a couple of nylon loops that are meant to be pull tabs for these zippers, which definitely come in handy, again, with these AquaGuard zips can be a little difficult to use from time to time. So having something to hold on to is really nice. Let's start with just the back of the bag. And I've just got the Civic Access pouch in here, which also was part of this collaboration. I'm gonna go over this in a little bit. It is freaking awesome. I love this thing too. <laughs> Did not think that I would like it so much, but it has been a joy to use as well. Back to the CPL, this main compartment is awesome. It is just, a big hole basically. You can put whatever you want in here, stack things the way that you want. You've got a couple of nylon loops at the top. It's meant to be for things like quick access to like a pen or maybe even a cable that you can just kind of slip right in here. And then also has this nice pouch in here that does allow and have some stretch. Also has a couple of holes in the bottom. It is meant to hold onto like a hydration bladder. There's a little hole that goes through here and then you can kind of loop it through the front of the bag. But again, overall, there's not much to this side of the bag. Holds probably something like 18 of the liters of the total storage of the bag uh, and then the rest being distributed. Onto the other side. Got some really nice Carryology Evergoods logo or descriptors here so that you can see exactly what's in the bag, where it was made, all that stuff. On one side, we've got a nice, again, mesh, same mesh that's being used on the admin pocket on the inside. Doesn't stretch, but protected by a zipper again. Really big pocket. I just keep my Kindle in here. Might have been nice just given the size to see like a slip pocket or two, something that keeps some of the stuff up here towards the middle, um, just like they did on the admin pocket. And then one pocket that spans this general area here. And I'm just keeping the Osmo pocket in it. Before I forget, I did mention that there is like a metal liner in here. So if you take off this Velcro, you can see the metal or aluminum frame here so that it just keeps this secure, keeps it straight, which is really nice in practice. What everybody's actually here for, the price and that recommended user. This one ran me a kind of stupid expensive price for a backpack at $399 USD. Now, I am really happy I spent it. I love this bag. I love the upgrades that this one has to offer. 
Thankfully for you all, the regular CPL V2, if you just wanna go out and get that, the one that's 500D nylon, high tenacity nylon, only runs at a steady 229 USD. And for that price, you are gonna be getting a steal of a backpack. Okay, so who is the CPL24 for exactly? I'd say if you're someone who has versatile outdoor needs like work, outdoor camping, hiking, things of that nature, you're gonna really wanna take a look at the CPL24. It is a highly, highly functional bag and it's priced extremely competitive competitively at this category at that 229 so if you meet those criteria i think you are going to be extremely happy going with the cpl 24. and on the other side of that who shouldn't buy the cpl 24 well i would say that the aesthetic is not for everyone it can be a little rugged uh, additionally it has some serious organization and some people just want to use their pouches and throw things in and not worry about the organization. And the last person or maybe group of people I would say is if you live in a warm weather place, this is going to be a really harsh backpack for you to own. I can tell you that right now. Thanks for watching another bag review by Dave Sam. I really enjoyed making this review traveling with the CPL 24. It did feel like I was traveling with two bags at times. Uh, even though it is just one bag, those two orientations really, really are a joy to use, really thoughtfully laid out. Let me know what you think of the CPL 24 in the comments below. If you have any questions or anything like that, drop them as well. And you know, while you're down there, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, get notified of future content it will help you identify bags that you want to use in the future and it'll help the algorithm know that you guys like me and help my channel out would y'all be interested in a what's in my bag i've got three different setups that i use on a regular basis for work for travel and for camera carry uh, i would love to do maybe a video on one if not all of them let me know again in the comments below what you think and I would love to uh, maybe share some of that stuff with you guys. There's plenty of other bags, plenty of other apparel that I'm going to be getting into over the next few weeks. So more videos to come and I will check y'all in the next one. Peace. Sounds so good ASMR.